So again, hopefully you notice some things as you're playing around with the different parts of um, the equation. What did you notice changing on your slope? Yeah, your slope changes the steepness of your graph. So flat is not steep at all. This is a little steep, little steep, little steeper. The closer you get to vertical, the steeper it is. So your slope changes how steep and in what direction your line is. If my slope is a positive number, what does my line look like? It increases from left to right. What does it look like if my slope is negative? It decreases from left to right. What if my slope is zero? What does my line look like? It's just a flat line. Oh, I didn't write that one in black. And then what's it called if you have a straight vertical up and down line? That's undefined slope. That's undefined slope. How do I find slope on a graph? Yeah, you hear rise over run a lot between two pretty points and we'll get to that. For slope we hear rise over run. If I have points or if I have a table, we're gonna talk about delta y over delta x. That was one of the things on the pretest that we did not do too hot on, was finding slope given a table. So that's what we're going to focus on for slope. Then the y-intercept. What does the y-intercept change about your graph? Your y-intercept moves the graph up or down. Makes it slide up, makes it slide down. If my y-intercept is positive, what does my y-intercept look like? It's above the origin. What if my y-intercept is negative? What would that look like? It's below the origin. And what if my y-intercept is zero? or you don't see one like a plus or minus anything at all, that means it's zero. That means it's gonna go through the origin. We're gonna get in today to being able to use the slope and your y-intercept, coordinates, tables, all those things to help you put information onto a graph. Pause this video if you need to finish writing anything up. Otherwise, go ahead and go on to the next section.